Hello friends, if you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're a subscriber or a fan, welcome back. Today's topic is going to be speaking in tongues. I did not realize this before I started looking into it, but speaking in tongues is not a Christian phenomenon. So let's get going. The technical word for speaking in tongues is glossolalia. It differs from xenolalia in that xenolalia is speaking in an actual language that is foreign to your mother tongue. Glossolalia is basically nonsense syllables. Non-Christian religions that use glossolalia include the peyote cult in North America, the Haida of the American Pacific Northwest, the voodoo cult in Haiti, among others. Glossolalia occurs most often in groups which use trance or religious ecstasy during rituals. When occurring under these conditions, Glossolalia is regarded as a positive sign, although at the beginning of the 20th century, some thought it was mass hysteria. Now, glossolalia is regarded as a legitimate religious phenomenon and not psychopathological in nature. It occurs continuously, if sporadically, in the history of the Christian Church until 1901, when it was observed and recorded en masse in two cities in the U.S. This was the beginning of classic Pentecostalism. In this movement, glossolalia is considered a sign of being baptized in the Spirit, and speaking in tongues legitimizes the person as a full member of the Church. Despite the fact that glossolalia in and of itself is not considered pathological. It does occur in some pathological conditions like schizophrenia, epilepsy, or toxic conditions. Speech is the system of signs and symbols used to convey messages between people who share the same language. Glossolalia is not speech. The phonetics of speaking in tongues varies between groups, but is rigid within a group, and behavior is determined by group expectations. In glossolalia, the person expresses thoughts which cannot be expressed in language without triggering feelings of shame, anxiety, or guilt. Thus, through glossolalia, the person feels that he or she has expressed something that cannot be put into words. It is free of any communicative function. Glossolalia is also linked with euphoria, relaxation, and altered states of consciousness. This activity leads to a release of a brain chemical, which in turn activates reduction of tension and metabolic activities and protects the person from stress. It is defined as automatic utterances and the production of sound, which intonation pattern is repetitive, rhythmic, and melodic, and occurs in a state of altered consciousness. It has the rudimentary structure of language that lacks constancy between words and meaning, and the speaker unconsciously imitates his or her mother tongue. The main difference between Christians today and what was reported as happening to the apostles is that the apostles reportedly used xenolalia, speaking in real languages. Christians today explain glossolalia as used in praising the Lord and therefore needs no interpretation. When someone speaks in tongues, there is usually an interpreter. This person supposedly 
intuitively knows what is being said. The speaking in tongues is a sign that God wants to give his word and the interpretation of tongues is supposedly the words that he wants the group to hear. According to Spanos, speaking in tongues is a learned behavior with training significantly increasing the fluency of the speaker. These utterances are goal-directed and not spontaneous. Well, friends, I think that's enough for today. I have enough material on glossolalia or speaking in tongues, at least for a mini-series, and probably for an entire series, so be looking for that in the future. You can catch me on Twitter and Discord. Those links are in the description. As well, my source link will also be in the description. And uh, I also have a PayPal account. That link will also be in the description. These are a couple of shows from my library. If you haven't seen them, I would encourage you to go ahead and see them. As always, question everything and never be afraid. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.